Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and this is your weekly tarot guidance for the week of November 27th through December 3rd of 2017. This week, beginning on the 1st of December, we will see Venus enter Sagittarius. Then on the 2nd, Jupiter will try Neptune. More about that coming up. That's a special one. Okay. On the 3rd, Mercury. I don't even mention Mercury very often because it always gets everybody going. Yes, Mercury will retrograde. And, you know, that won't, the direct motion won't happen until the 22nd. Okay. That still pretty much hinders your holiday shopping. So whatever holidays you celebrate, hopefully you gave some thought to them long before now. Okay. Also on the 3rd, there will be a full moon in Gemini. Now I have to tell you, at this point, you have reached that, that point in your life, the big transition, you know, the where am I headed next part, because you've done something and we really watched it play out over the tail end of October and the month of November. And here you are, you've closed that door. I think it's the door to the hard times that started back in 2012. So this is a big deal for you. And now, you know, you have what's yours. You've kept what means something to you. Okay. Whether it's memories or personal things or, you know, finances that you manage to hold on to, whatever it is, you have your things. And the universe says, good job, right? Good job. It's time to see your, you know, hopes and dreams play out. And how are you going to do that? There is a, a certain kind of a rebuilding, I think, that's taking place in your life. You've been doing the rebuilding for the last few years, but this is different because this is kind of like new construction. How are you going to put it together? You know, like how the slots have to fit, you know, when you see uh, log cabins or Legos and you got to put the pieces together. You know, that's what you're about. Like, what is going to fit in my life? perfectly hmm so there are some interesting events taking place before the new moon arrives and uh, the new moon this month isn't until the 18th so keep that in mind it's kind of like a from from a full moon to new moon type of thing that's going on so the full moon's on the third and you know we're covering yeah so you see what I'm saying? Mm, yeah, more change is afoot here. But this is a different kind of change. This is about freedom. This is about that, I, I like to call it the promised land because to get into this transition, this big transition of your life where you can head for your hopes and dreams and what you really want, yeah. You, you, you've you've made it it's out there in the distance okay I think more so around April because I keep seeing a change around March but you can tell that it's something that can happen okay you're you're at that point where all that stress that you had before is lifting from your life which is wonderful so you no longer feel like you have to fight for what you want you know, there's a, like a, a thank goodness, a taking a break kind of thing. Hmm. And maybe even a little bit of that Mercury retrograde thrown in. Sometimes Mercury wants us to just slow down and, you know, lessen that pace. And is it, isn't it amazing, the timing, like you get all this done and then Mercury retrograde shows up. Yeah, it's okay. It is what it is. It's three and a half weeks. You add in the shadow, yes, it's longer, but you're looking toward your future and what you hope to manifest. You know, the difference here is that you're the one driving. You're the one driving the, the truck of life, if you want to put it that way, okay, and what you hope to create. I still think that it's sort of a process between now and March. I think that you're, you're getting settled in 
to what's going on because you had a list. I want to, I want to do this. I want to move. And then I want to do this, this, this in my life. And this is what I hope to accomplish. So obviously you're not going to, you know, just move or get a divorce or something. And then everything just plops in your lap in a day. It isn't going to work that way. But I think you're learning to handle everything very well as far as you know moving whoo moving forward things will begin to escalate with time you may have to you know pace yourself a little bit through the mercury part but you're going to see that some things are moving quickly and other things you just kind of got to weigh it out a little bit and go with the flow until you're past it still so much karma at play you know when we get to, I want to say by February, where you've been making choices along the way. So, yeah. And then you can kind of look back and be thankful for all of the changes that there are. I also want to bring up Jupiter trying Neptune this week. And it, if you were born, you know, during this time, most of these people turn out to be very spiritual people, very, you know, uh, I'm going to say oriented toward humankind, you know, and generous. An example would be Martin Luther King. You know, there you have it. Okay. So, you know, there is a sense of spirituality that's going to be around this week with this transit and hopefully bringing to people what they need so whether you're just a small cog in the wheel or you're you know very much in the scheme of things working to help people it helps bring justice for all and it's it's a very good thing so this is a wonderful transit that's taking place and it really you know i would say give it a couple days either way when you stop and think about it all right but there's just this wonderful spiritual feeling that's around this week and you may notice it this is why i wanted to bring it up see there's plenty of unconditional love to go around this week i i, I am you know how i am i love that okay i really truly do now when you get and this is like going off on another tangent here but when you get those gut feelings about things and they kind of things don't sit well in the pit of your stomach trust them trust that intuition if something gives you cause for doubt and cause for worry now let's separate that out for a minute okay shall we this isn't about being a worry wart and making problems where there are none if you're one of those people who like has learned to trust their gut instinct something feels wrong something's just making me go uh-uh uh-uh then stick with that okay that's important to know this week i don't know why I just feel it very strongly. Trust that. Just know that if you have doubts about something, then you should act accordingly. You know, and I'm not talking about, you know, thinking, you know, in a certain way. I'm talking about that gut feeling that says, nope, this just is not right. Whatever it's about. Now, there is an immense change that wants to come in. Okay but it's a positive one. So a lot of it is to take you toward more secure goals. This has been a hard road, a really hard road. Now, I don't know why those feelings are coming up this week, but see, it's about healing and healing those wounds. So you see that past, it did quite a number on everyone. And that's why I think there's that time that I've discussed in various guidances, like over on Patreon, talking about needing a little bit of time to sort through this part. That's why this week starts with you're in this big transition, but it's not like, boom, this is done. Here you are. New life comes in one big, you know, you open the door, you open an envelope. Here's everything you need. It's not like that. It's kind of like you have to figure it out because there's still that mm, residual or something that's there 
from whatever happened before. So some healing, not for everyone, but some people heal faster than others, but not everyone does. So there's some healing that has to take place and, you know, to get over all of that. So I think that it's doable. I just think it takes till about March before you're really feeling good about it. But I'll tell you what, the new beginnings are here. Absolutely. You know, and, and it happens over the course of this month. I think decisions, you're, you're able to make more decisions. Just be careful with the whole Mercury retrograde thing and keep the rules of Mercury retrograde in mind. Okay, if something's already begun, you can continue working on it, but you don't just go out now and say, well, I think I'll go sign a lease on a new house. And you know, I think I'll go buy a new car. No, that you need patience with, and there it is, okay? Just take your time a little bit further, get past it, you know, so there might be something that you've been wanting to do where you feel a little bit stalled because it's not the right time. That's okay. And to me, it appears that you have plenty to look at, plenty to figure out, and lots of options before you where you need to, I even want to say, educate yourself, okay, between now and the end of the month. You know, because when we get to towards the end of the month, we're going to have a switch too, at the solstice where Saturn will be moving on into Capricorn. And some of the things that you th are thinking, like the mode you've been in for the last couple of years, that's all going to change anyway. So maybe the timing of this Mercury retrograde is a good thing. It gets you to slow down, enjoy your holidays and, you know, relax a little bit. Okay, no need to go all gung-ho because when mercury is retrograde it's better to lighten your schedule okay so yeah see there are some who mentally and this isn't everyone but some who are mentally having the difficulty of overcoming what they went through it, it, it just kind of haunts you for a little while it's okay you're going to be fine. And I like I said, I think it's a matter of months. You have to allow yourself, you know, reacclimate to this new life because at some point you have to realize that this is the best thing that could ever have happened to you. The change that you've made, it is in your best interest, okay? There is a lot of focus that's coming in toward happiness and relationships you know as in relationships that will make you happy that type of thing and throw mercury into the mix and you may see someone surface from your past doesn't that always happen just keep in mind you know late next year we'll have a venus retrograde as well to talk about just to throw that out there but you know what keep yourself balanced don't go overboard hmm and, and, you know here's the thing wow if someone shows up and, and this is I mean this could go a couple different ways but you know it's almost as if someone could show up and it doesn't mean you don't care but there may be hurt associated with it you know maybe someone who hurt you in the past it doesn't have to be a love relationship but it definitely it you know brings up feelings of disappointment over things that happened so what do you do about it i think that it, you kind of have to balance your reactions in other words if you're too defensive even though you maybe do want to find out this person's intention then that's kind of a put off so how do you do that you kind of just do it in moderation you know don't put yourself out there all the way just find out what's going on you know that kind of thing because really truly you're in charge of your journey now you're in charge of your new identity that you want to create and i have a feeling that whatever is surfacing you're not sure if it fits in with it okay at one time it may have been something that you thought was important to you whatever the situation is but now you know that's changed and you know here we're back to that i kind of think if this is to continue or whatever 
June, May, June, something in there, you know, is maybe the time frame that you need to give it. We're not going to talk three month rule here. I think that there needs to be time because as I mentioned earlier, what you're going through now as part of this transition is also a healing process. And in order to totally feel on your feet, which I think you are, it's just that, that, you know, the damage was done and you have to get to the point in life where you're not thinking about anything that happened before and you're, you're totally immersed in the new life. So that's coming. All right. You're, you're basically, I think, becoming more and more carefree each day. But I really want to say, give it a month. You know, whatever's going on now, whatever happens this week, give it a month. Let Saturn move on into Capricorn. Let yourself get into the new year and see what happens. Okay. Because the power, your power has been returned to you through what you've taken care of in like the last eight weeks. But where, where you're at is still that, I think, a review of the status quo. You know, you can, you can dream a lot. You can hope a lot. You can say, yeah, this is what I want. This is what I want. But I think when it boils down to it, you, you, you want to give it better consideration. Because if you stop and you think about where past choices may have led, if they led you to, you know, those difficult years that you just survived. Yeah. Okay. This part was meant to be taken day by day. Nothing really, you know, at the moment where you're doing, you know, drastic things all at one time. It's not like that. You have, remember we had the list. Okay. And the list went from equinox to equinox. Well, now it's going to the next equinox and you're working on the list that's in the new part of your life, which is why I think by the time you get to like late March, early April, when you hit that equinox, you're ready for the better things to come in. And they're already here, but you're not prepared for them yet. Not emotionally, not mentally, maybe even not physically. You might have some things, you know, holding you back. So this is kind of a, let's call it a, this is an all about you time and you need to take care of you first. And then I think you're better equipped to deal with when, you know, people show up. So rather than, you know, being too hasty, just kind of, you know, hear them out, see what they have to say and just kind of coast through it. You know, I, I wouldn't make any decisions one way or the other. I would just allow it to play itself out, see what it's all about and what's going on. And by the time you get to June, I think that you'll be much more in tune. If that person's still around, then you're going to know that their intentions were sincere. Okay. That is the best thing that you can do for yourself. So I want to thank you all very much for being here and I'll see you here again soon. Take care.